this is the zine slash mini comic workshop. Um, we officially start at 12.30, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started since you guys are here and I don't want y'all to be bored and we have a lot to cover. So, zines and mini comics really just refer to small hand-bound books. You do it at home, you print it at home, and they can contain almost anything. It can be a book of images and written text. It can be a book that's mostly just your illustrations. It can be a book with comic pages inside, and they don't have to all be for the same story. You can have different comics. Or it can even just be a book with your drawings inside, both finished drawings and sort of sketchy, fun drawings. So I'm gonna pass these examples down for you guys to flip through. And these are my all ages appropriate mini books. So there's nothing in there that should be questionable. And then I have some examples of just a few of my favorite zines and minis from some of my favorite artists from some of the shows I've done. And I'm going to pass those around as well. I flipped through them, but I don't 100% guarantee because I'm human and I might miss something. But you can have super tiny mini comics like this, which are very cute. And so you can have larger mini comics like this, which use an eight and a half sheet of paper, and they are staple bound. You can have a color and printed cover. This is a screen, I don't know if this is screen print. It looks like block print, actually. A color and printed cover for a black and white interior. You can have a color cover with a color interior. I mean, you can do all sorts of things. And it can be about whatever you want. There are zines and minis about recipes, like Expedition, which is right there. You should flip through it, it is really pretty. Um, there are mini comics that just tell kind of a simple, sweet story, like this watercolor comic about a little girl on a rainy day. You can collect, like if you like to do fan art, you can do a fanzine. So this is a, this is a Ronmo one half fanzine, and it's got like four coma mini comics in it, as well as illustrations. So you can really do all sorts of cool things with minis and zines, and they don't have to be in your traditional book format. You can do something really cool, like this mini here, which is forty and folded. It can be read as a comic with pages you flip through, or it can be read as a panorama. Or you can do something super cool like this. This is actually a collection of mini comics. They're all fast food themed, so they have like this really cool screen printed bag with a fast food logo, Burger Crown. And then all of the minis inside are food themed. So this is themed after like a coupon. This is your box of chicken nuggets. These are your fries. This is your drink. So you can do all kinds of really cool things with mini comics and zines. I know, I have a, I have a really good collection. Or, like this here, this is another themed collection and it's themed around people who work at an amusement park. So they made a map of their fictional amusement park. So if you were doing a comic about like, um, you wanted to write a story about fairies and princesses and maybe a mermaid, because that's what I would want to do a story about. And you want to do a map of the world so people can kind of follow along. You can totally include a map in your mini comic if you want to. So these are really cool because they're kind of books without any borders or limitations. You can draw whatever you want. You can write whatever you want. You are free. You should tell whatever kind of story or do whatever kind of drawings you want to do. And what's also really cool about these is they are usually shared or exchanged at shows like Imaginacon. So next year, you guys should totally bring your zines and your mini comics that you're definitely going to make. And you should try and table and do a zine exchange because that would be really cool. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do two different mini comics. We are going to do a magic trick mini comic where you use one sheet of paper and with a little bit of folding magic, 
you end up with an eight page electronic. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to make the sort of mini comics I just passed down, which are staple bound, and I have a stapler for you guys, have a cover and have interior pages. But we, I've already assembled those for you guys just for the purposes of time. So these are for you guys to take home with you. So in the middle, Oh, and if I'm moving too fast, please say something. I just want to get everything covered before it hits the magic hour and I turn into a pumpkin. Okay. Excuse me. Kind of? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a corruption of it, but it still references the fact that like a magazine like, contains all kinds of different things. Yeah, that's a good question. And that's a good reminder of how to pronounce it because people will call it like signs and all sorts of they've never heard it pronounced like this it. Typically, I usually call what I do mini comics because I do other comics. So for those of you who don't mind doing a little bit of drawing, and I'm not going to make anybody draw if you don't like to draw or you don't want to draw. Like, I don't draw on the spot. When they asked me to do this panel, I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to draw. But I totally get if you guys like to draw. I have these cool templates already printed out, and that is how we're gonna make the magic trick comic. The one page turn into eight pages. And on this template, it has instructions, page numbers, for the order that you're gonna draw this in, because it doesn't go in one, two, three order. It goes in a special order that makes sense once you fold it. Thank you. So I'm gonna split these into two stacks. If you guys take one and pass it down, or take two if you need another. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's me. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my zine slash mini comic panel. Pull up a chair. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Here, I'll have you for you. Blues and artists. Fantastic. Yeah, join us. Oh, I'm sorry. Mommy doesn't want to hold the next chair. Just because somebody is in Thank you. And. Did you see your pages? Thank you guys. I also have two stacks of, this is just an example, this is the magic trick one I just showed you guys. Take one and pass it down. That's just to give you something to practice holding on. And if any of you guys want another template, if you mess up, whatever, let me know. I've got them. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, because I was excited because we were yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I went over the basics of what mini comics, zines, ash cans are. They're all kind of the same thing. I have some examples of them here that you're welcome to go through and look at for inspiration. I also showed them a magic trick, which I can show you in a minute, where you take one piece of paper and you fold it into what turns into an eight page mini book. And I passed the templates for that out. So if I can give you I'll show you mine I'll give y'all a little bit. Because I gotta cut it. And basically if you're comfortable with drawing in a time like that, I'm not. And then draw. Um, you, don't, you don't have to you can take it home and you or whatever you want to do. But they are numbered. Because when you fold it, it doesn't fold. Oh, so over there, they were doing it. That's like a good cost. That's the hard part. They're numbered up. Yeah, which is, let's see. Wait, can I draw my thing? Which I'm happy about. Here's number. Sorry. I don't know. I couldn't make a book or whatever. You could do whatever you want. Here, if you want to sit down. Oh, man. I'm sure I should. There are all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> we have 
color pencils, we have crayons, we have markers, we have more markers, we have crayons. Okay. You just got here, you're new. Okay. That's cool. We are making comics. Do you like comics? Awesome. So we are making a tiny miniature eight page comic. So I want you to think really hard about a very short story you want to tell and the kind of characters in that very short story. And we're going to draw that short story on the covers here, the back cover here, page one, page two, page three, page one, from there on. And I have an example one. I made it! Oh, I grabbed two See, this is the, that's a print, and this is the original one. And then when you're done drawing, we're going to do a little bit of origami. We're going to hold it up, and it's going to turn into a mini book like this, that you can read in order. Yes! You can buy the unicorn stories, and then you can trade. Doing good, man. Do you want to draw? Okay, that's cool. I get it. Just checking it out. Just open it up. Thank you. And um, the lovely Miss Laura just brought me a big stack of paper. So if you guys want to do any sort of sketches or if you want to write down what you're doing, any kind of planning like that, you totally can. I'm going to put that in the middle of the table. She's like paper. She colors on cardboard boxes too, honey. Every day. Cardboard boxes make me pass. Hang in any paper. It's on the walls. Do not touch it. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, I cannot take credit for that. You have to ask this wonderful librarian, and it may not. That's fantastic. <laughs> I see. So if anybody has any questions, just like raise your hand up and wave your wild and say, Miss Becca, I need help. Come see me. Or just raise your hand. Whatever you're comfortable with. You have a Miss Becca in your family too? What did your mom like to do for fun? She likes to take Oh, that's solid. I like to take naps. my kid say that. Naps? <laughs> Whatever you want. Do you want the template that they have? That no, that's okay. Kind of it's oh, all very it. like rudimentary. Yeah, you can do a comic, but you can do an unpeeled fan comic if you want. You can do literally whatever kind of comic you want to do. They are all legit. Or if you want to see my hair, do you see my eyes? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do the second one. She has different eyes than you do, doesn't she? Do you want her drawing out so she can see? Huh? You got it? Whatever okay. you are comfortable with doing and want to do, it's all good. She does these for you. She does them. We have her thing for you too, I promise. I know, she does these for you too. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is a good idea. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it's not that serious. Yeah. So, the only thing peeking out is her head over the water. Turn that way. Yeah? Is that how she breathes? She has to come up to breathe? Still, I'm sorry. That's cool, too. Are your unicorn mermaids friends? Or you don't know? I know, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, you can slip through any of the You don't have seven minutes. So you have to go there and do a costume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you see your room? Where do you see your room? Take your finger then and look at your room. Where do you see your Right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't know.
You know, it's best to look up secret because I hear unicorns are really high, and if like, too many people would see it, it makes it really unicorn. Way back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.